All right, it's time for some more Amphibia. We got Season 3, Episode 15. What do we have here? Newts and Tights and Fight or Flight. And those are a couple of interesting titles. Uh, Newts and Tights instantly reminds me of Robin Hood Men in Tights, the Mel Brooks film, uh, which is absolutely hilarious if you've never seen it. I hope you have. If you if I hope you have, but if you haven't, definitely seek it out. But that kind of gives me, like, I wonder if that's going to be like a Robin Hood type of thing. And Fight or Flight, that's interesting because Fight or Flight response is typically like a like kind of like an automatic like reaction like a psychological reaction to something that was stressful or traumatic or something like that so i wonder i don't know who that could be in regards to if, the, if fight or flight is referring to a specific character so we'll find out soon but yeah let's watch newts and tights that'd be cool if it was like a robin hood type of episode which kind of makes sense i mean that they, they the resistance, this rebellion to be on Andre's side. Uh, against a corrupt Andrews. king. Wait a second, who's that? Steal from the rich, help huh? the poor. Please, kind soldiers, I've twisted my wee ankle and Oh, look at the back. shoes and the tights. Hey, okay there, I just had a, I just had a realization. I wonder if they're bringing back what's his name. Remember the guy who trained uh, Anne in sword fighting, who hired them to steal. Join us. I don't remember his name. That would be hilarious. I was right. <laughs> it's awesome. There he is. Tritonio. I should have Tritonio. Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Typical. <laughs> The world is falling I associated him with Rob, like a Robin Hood esque character from before. Excellent, my little Jojo Potato. Jojo Potato? There's going to be an even bigger caravan passing through the woods at three o'clock. Oh, we get past the giant collared beast that guards the caravan. Very easy to take down once you know the trick. Ah, so you've dealt with him before? What do I say? Can't trust him. You are the smartest, bravest pupils I've ever It's hard to trust him. You're just buttering us up, so we'll help you. Yeah. And it's working. Yeah, that's on, what he Andrew, does. Help them. But only if you promise to join the resistance afterwards. Done. And no backstabbing, double crossing, or other such. <laughs> Can we trust him? He wound me, Anne. Come, my friend. To the secret. I still don't trust him. Wait, before we go, what's up with the tights? <laughs> Look at them legs. We run faster. Damn, he's fit. And we look amazing. <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. Wow, you have a real talent for strategy. Too bad you're a no good backstabbing scallywag. You'd be a scallywag too. Mm. If you grew up like me. I was a street urchin. No so family, cute. No one to look out for me. Oh. Living on the street meant loyalty was tedious. Reminds me of all those like mafia movies when we see them as youngsters. That was messed up, though. Oh. Push came to shove, you'd even leave these guys in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo loves him. No loyalties, no attachment. So how can we trust you? The caravan shall be passing through in mere minutes. Ah, brilliant adventure music. Ooh. Do that guitar. Nice. That worked. Tritonio, go! Hey, who's up there? Nice. Now let's see what Aww. Loot we just you got a... Ooh. Oh, ambush! It's a sting. I was going to say, you got to love that music. Tritonio, save them! Do not abandon them. Jojo! Jojo! Farewell, my friend. No! You coward. Okay, this is his arc. This is where he becomes this is where he changes and becomes a hero. And recapture ourselves? No can do kids. The rules of the street, remember? Dude, he's rocking those boots, by the way. Regrets? But what about the resistance? They ain't wrong, they look good. Oh, come on, Sprig, you know I was never going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sprig! <laughs> Ooh. 
this meal. This break's like, jeez. I get that. We do what we need to do to survive. But I gotta I'm say, loving that guitar. Master thief, I'm disappointed in you. How so? Uh oh. Feed to it. The world on the table. Feed into his ego. Comrades, someone to count on. You're only robbing yourself. Wow. We have a very merry band to save. Right behind you. Later, Tritonio. <laughs> For the king, I find you guilty of disturbing the peace. They have a robot judge. There is only one punishment. Nice. They got the wig and everything. Permission to approach the bench? <laughs> nice one liner. Permission to approach the bench. All right, Trentonio, this is your moment. Oh. Oh, the legs. Someone's doing their squats. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's a Decepticon! Oh, that was actually really badass. Of course it's a mech. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> Your punishment! You gotta admit, this thing is pretty cool. <laughs> Save him! Nice. No amnesty. Oh, glorious. What about the rules of the streets? Hmm. Wow. You think I, Tritonio, give a fig for rules? <laughs> yeah. That, that lines up. Oh my god, this, this thing has nothing but courtroom one-liners. You see the veins popping out of their legs? Damn, Jojo! They love using that sound effect. <laughs> Good catch. The shots of the legs are killing me. I love how we're slowly building this resistance up. I just happened to be passing by and my arrow flew out of my bow. Feels good to have someone's back. Admit it. Oh, you've grown. Sasha keeps saying we need help with our battle strategy. And who's better at strategy than you? <laughs> I know you're just buttering me up, so I'll help you. <laughs> well, I learned from the best. I gotta say. And teach everyone. And, and, the same girl I met all and strengthen months. everyone's legs. Alright, the rebellion shall be our new crew. Nice. Look at that. We're building ourselves quite a team. Now come follow me. Pop Pop just found something really interesting. Okay. Oh, there you are. So I, uh, I got lost while looking for the bathroom. Oh, this could be this big. Strange looking door. You tried sliding the family tome into it? The one that had the calamity box drawings inside? It's worth the shot. Leaf. Oh! <gasps> Do not cliffhanger me. No, black light. Sure was mysterious. Come on, let's get out of here and head no. to the canteen. No, black light. No, black light. Because Leaf was on the the vase, remember when she arrived during the Viking days? I totally forgot about that until until now. <laughs> okay, guys, we need to catch whatever's been breaking into our food bins at night. I'm telling you, Leaf was a planner. We'll be out of food soon. Dibs on eating Woggle. <laughs> yeah, and, and wrestle him down. Be a the wildlife has been forced to find food from outside the forests. Say that last bit five times fast. I totally forgot about that vase, so it wouldn't. Like I said, eventually I was like, watch Leafy Sprague's mom, but no, that there's no way. Definitely a planner, though, in my opinion. Let's go. What was that? No. Was that Domino Two, or at least that breed? Oh no, it is. I did not like this thing. It's a coastal kill em off. <gasps> Domino 2! <laughs> no, Domino 2 trying to kill us. Aww. <laughs> uh. Does it remember them? I'm loving all the callbacks to previous episodes. Say hello, and that monster tried to eat us. I wouldn't be surprised if she remembers my flavor. Don't hold a grudge, Sprig. <laughs> oh, God. 
Okay, I don't want anything to happen to Domino 2. No! Yeah. There's a lot of that this season. <laughs> Oh, there's babies. Oh no, the face. <laughs> They're cute, but I don't want to know what they turn into. <laughs> well, that settles it. We're taking these little babies back to Oh no. Absolutely not. Just until we save their mother. No way. No how. Not in a million years. Oh. No, not this time. No. Can't resist. I don't think I've ever seen eyes this big before. <laughs> Fine. They're gonna love it. <laughs> oh my god. What are those things? They're monsters. As cute as can be. And once they transformed into adults, they'll eat us all for breakfast. Dude, Hot Pop's awesome. I love Hot Pop so much. His bones in a giant pellet. Oh. Man, this is a hard no. All you gotta do is watch these kittens for a couple of hours. I miss the Boon Choys. Sorry, random. I miss her parents. <laughs> Look at them. It's got two different colored eyes. My friend's cat is too. Different we don't colored eyes. Care of these little savages any longer than we have to. <laughs> I'm more of a dog person, so. Same. <laughs> Make it quick. Everyone, I just have to bust her out of a mouth. Freaking Sasha in this mom. season. The ear thing. This. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, count me in. Ooh. Appreciate the help. An Anne and so Sprig adventure. When this goes horribly wrong, we really need to work in the pep talks. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Sprague's pep talks, his timing with saying certain things, he jinxes Why? everything. You take first watch and be careful. You little blighters know what's good for you. You won't try anything. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. We're using the mods to generate power. And look, mind control callers. Oh. Interesting. You, Cali Coco, and Nutgrass, and Josie Pie, and of course, little Wally Jr. Wally Jr. the hat! What's going on in here? <laughs> Passing time with my accordion. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, that <laughs> is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, let me hold one. Get off of me, you disgusting little. Deer. Oh, can't resist. Oh, I, would... Rolls, I wouldn't talk, uh, Croaker. You have that. Creepy little spider. Oh my god. Love looks not with the eyes. Cheese. The and therefore is when you keep a painted blind. Why? Why why did why did the pitch of his voice go so low? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. bad. Oh, I hate the 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 eyes and the teeth and everything. It always looks like it's smiling. Nice. Come on, girl. Oh no! No, it's. Oh! Thank goodness. Domino Two is a little more cuter now that. She's not trying to kill them. Oh, oh! You didn't forget me. She kept it. Wow, this is the most amazing thing I've ever. My black heart. There's the comedy. Oh, I love it. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. God, the score. Ew. I think season three has had probably my favorite music of, of all the three seasons. Can't leave the others. They deserve to be free. 
Oh, oh, uh, spring. <laughs> oh, they're less creepy with the with the red eyes. Please stop. Please leave him alone. Oh no, spring. <laughs> Protect! Oh, the Alpha. Oh, poor Spring, buddy. Uh, thanks. Why did they listen to her? Farsi told me about animals like this. Oh. 102 must be the Alpha Moth. So that means... She can control them. Domino. Yep. We yeah. tamed them all. We, we're adding more to the army. I'm like... I'm liking what they're doing with this portion of the season and seeing how they're strengthening their the resistance of this rebellion because one of the first questions i had was how are they going to fight andreas and that army oh boy no it's fine it's cool everyone well guys looks like we just got air cavalry nice fight or flight Yeah, can we fix that? <laughs> oh, poor Spring. <laughs> um. Oh. So, going back to the the previous one, it's definitely looking more and more that Leaf is a planter, right? Uh, it's it's looking like you know Sprig, Polly, Hop up. They're all descendants of Leaf. I, I, that's pretty much where I'm standing on that. I mean that. That room said it, I feel like. I look like an L to me on the back of the cloak. Uh, but but if that's... So what I'm trying to figure out is... I mean, I'm sure we'll get this answer. And obviously, don't answer any of these questions. If Leaf... When, when Leaf stole the box, did Leaf return home first? Maybe wrote that letter? And I think you're going to need that little black light thing again, right? Uh, to read that because I feel like it was written like in, in in invisible ink or whatever. Did they go back and write it, whatever, and then left and went and brought the box to Earth, or did she drop that box off at Earth and somehow figure it out, come back? Like I don't know, I I I've, I I don't know about that yet, but I'm pretty convinced Leaf's a planner. And like I said in the one reaction, I totally forgot. Like I brought up the whole. Maybe leaves the uh, Sprigs mob. It's I'm not putting two and two together, realizing the gap of time. I forgot it was like a thousand years. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Oh god, I can't remember every damn detail in the show. Okay, <laughs> I watch them once and that's it. I never rewatch them ever. Uh, but uh, definitely, I feel like she is def definitely uh, an ancestor for sure, which is really cool and really interesting if that ends up being the case. And 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 yeah, and bringing back what's his name? Oh God, I forgot his name. Tonio. Uh, it, it, one I was right about the Robin Hood thing. I I I I I will give myself points for that one. And then when I started thinking about Robin Hood, I was all like, and and I this season they've been doing a lot of callbacks to previous episodes, bringing previous characters back and whatnot to help build up this rebellion. And it hit me literally like hit me so hard i'm like the dude that trained and stuff the thief and everything and then it ended up being him and i love the stuff with the tights and <laughs> every time they flash those legs those muscles are bulging ah oh, incredible and then and like i said i'm talking about bringing calling back to previous episodes uh domino 2 brought back uh i liked how domino 2 is the alpha i like she remembered Anne and the planners that was really neat uh started off as this cold-blooded killer wanted to kill them and eat them and then ends up being this is really cool so it's essentially and you know pet and amphibia domino her domino and amphibia uh and the fact that she is in charge of the others and they will do whatever the alpha says i mean now like sasha said they have air support now which is great so who I'm, I'm like i said i know it may seem like slow for some people in terms of like the story 
I'm sure a, a lot of us would probably maybe would have liked more of the Andreas stuff, the stuff going on in Utopia and whatnot. But I think this is really important and really essential to see them building up this resistance and this rebellion, especially to make it more believable that they can fight Andreas and his army and fight Utopia. I think that's really important that we see them strengthening their arms the way they've been displaying on the show right here. So I think it's been very important. I've been really loving at all the callbacks. It definitely feels like the end of the series, like we're just breaking stuff back from previous episodes. And I, 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 I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I adore that. I think that's great. But yeah, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much. If you did enjoy this reaction, consider coming back and joining us again. I would really love to see you in the comments. Uh, and don't forget to like the video. That's really important as well. I would love it. Uh, if you would do that as well, that would help me out. Help. that would help me out a whole ton. I can't speak. And, uh, yeah, if you're interested in the Patreon, uh, we have a link for that in the description below in the pinned comment. It's uh, only $5 a month to catch any uncut full-length reaction. You get early access with those. Uh, remember, you got to supply your own copy uh, for legal reasons. I cannot supply that to you. Uh, but it does have a timestamp, so you can match up the video with my reaction. And, uh, yeah, it's only $5 a month. If that's something interesting, check it out. But, yeah, folks, have yourselves a great one, and I'll catch you in the next reaction. We got episode 16, three more left of Amphibia. That's sad, but I'm looking forward to it. See you in the next one.